There's no doubt new concerns are causing stress not only for people who vape but also for businesses once that ban goes through. Eyewitness News Amanda Mueller spoke with local vape shop owners about the ban. Amanda? Shop owners I spoke with say their products are not meant for people who have never smoked. Today, the National Federation of State High School Associations released a statement claiming vaping has reached a crisis stage and must be stopped. But small business owners say there's more to the story. My numbers in the last week and a half are down about 40 percent. There is unease in the vape shop community. That will devastate this industry here in Indiana. So most everybody sells a flavored product. All of the businesses will have to shut down. People are dying with vaping. So we're looking at it very closely. Department of Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar says we will not stand idly by as these products become an on-ramp to combustible cigarettes or nicotine addiction for a generation of youth. But those in the industry say their products are meant to stop people from smoking. It will shut down our business. It will shut down open systems, mom and pop shops like ours, folks that are focused upon the destruction of the tobacco industry. If you ban flavored vapor, you know who will be left in business? Jewel, who doesn't offer flavors. On September 9th, the FDA issued a warning letter to Juul for marketing what it called unauthorized modified risk tobacco products, claiming the company engaged in marketing activities that at times targeted kids. Local owners say by limiting choices, some adults may turn back to cigarettes. Getting rid of flavors in general would, would disrupt the whole industry. I firmly believe that hundreds of thousands of people lose their jobs. If the ban goes through, the only way to get products back on the shelf is through FDA approval. Why is this what we call an acute problem with lung illnesses? Well, I think that you can solely attribute that to adulteration of the product that's not being done in legitimate businesses that we represent. So why are they coming for us now? Because they can. So far, health officials say there is no clear connection between the six deaths. In the case of the New York death, vitamin E acetate is now a clear focus of the state's investigation. Those in the vape industry I spoke with believe vapors may have been an illicit products and not what they sell in their stores. All right.